this car puzzle, you need to start by always, always making a copy of the background layer. So you click on the background layer, drag it to the little plus sign at the bottom right hand corner of the layers panel. And now you have a copy to do with whatever you want. You can mess it up and you can always revert back to making another copy of that background layer, just like so. You can also go up to the three little lines at the top of the layers panel and go to duplicate layer. There's always two or three ways to do anything in Photoshop. So to explore the selection tools, we have just very briefly three different categories of selection tools. Whenever you see the little white carrot under um, a tool, it means that there's some hidden tools below it. So the rectangular marquee lets you select in rectangles or squares if you hold shift. Um, <clears throat> uh, you can also click on add to selection to, with any of the selections, continually add to your selection, or you can choose subtract from selection in order to take parts away. Um, one of the other marquee tools is the elliptical marquee tool. So you could drag out uh, ellipses or circles, holding shift to make a perfect circle. So that might be the right tool to select this tire. Now if you want to move your selection, you just hover inside of it and move it around to transform it. You go under the select menu, transform selection, and then you get a bounding box that you can adjust. Hit enter when you like that. And then to move your circle, well first of all, if you want to make a perfect circle from the center, you can hold down option and shift and now drag out from the center and then reposition your selection. Now you're ready to move it. So grab the move tool. You can cut and paste. Right now, if you let go of it, it's on this same layer still, and it's gonna become a permanent part of that layer. If I say deselect, now it you know, is a permanent part of that layer. So to avoid that, I'm going to copy and paste. So go edit, copy. Um, hold on, Command Z. Now I wanna go edit, copy. You can also undo anything by going to the edit menu as well. Copy, edit, paste. And now I can double click on this layer, call it tire so I can stay organized and now I can move that tire wherever I want it. Um, I might also want, before I do that, to grab this little thing and move it in place so that I can see it. Um, you can make any layer invisible by clicking on this little eyeball next to the layer to toggle between visible and invisible. And a really cool um, tool that I didn't go over in my last selections tutorial is um, underneath the magic wand. That's the object select tool. So this is probably the easiest one to hover over things and select. So you can just like click on something and it'll automatically use AI to guess what it thinks you want selected. So then you can move that into place. Now if you want to make minor adjustments, you can hit the arrow keys to place it. Command D to deselect. Um, so we might use that object select tool again to select, oh, got to make sure we're on the right layer. Yes, background copy. Um, I forgot to copy and paste, so I'm going to go edit copy, edit paste, and now it's on its own layer. This is the light. I'm going to grab the move tool and move it into place right there. Now um, another Selection tool category are the lasso tools. The lasso tool will allow you to just like select a freeform selection. So you say, ah, I want about what's in here. And then maybe you want to fill it. So you can go edit, fill, choose content aware and click OK. Whoops, that did not work because I'm on the wrong layer. So nine times out of 10, if something doesn't work, check your layers. Now try it again, edit, fill, content aware. Now it should use AI to guess what should be there, which is the background. Okay, so it kind of got rid of that for me. Um, another selection tool I can use under the lasso tools is the polygonal lasso. This is if you have straight lines like in a building, and then to finish that you can hit enter, or you can just hover over that original point you just made, and it'll close your shape, and then you can cut that and move it around, command Z. And the reason you're not seeing it cut is because I had the background visible. I like to leave it invisible so I can see what I have. So Command Z, go back in time, edit, undo, edit, undo, there we go, Command D. You can also go to the history panel and go back a couple of steps by clicking in here. <coughs> Command D to deselect. Um, <clears throat> the last lasso tool is the magnetic lasso tool. So this zips along that edge of contrast so it's kind of like outlining something. Whoops, if you get off, you can hit the delete key, go back a couple of steps, 
and then keep going. So you, ideally, you make your way all the way around the car, hit enter, and then you can move it from there. So that's the magnetic lasso selects based on the edge of contrast. And then we're getting into the more sophisticated selection tools like the quick selection tool down here. You can hit the right or the left bracket keys to make it bigger or smaller. With this, I might select the car and put the car on its own layer. So there's not just one selection tool that works for everything. You have to kind of experiment to see which selection tool is the best for each given object. Like for example, the object tool may not, or the object select may not work on this tool or this image up here or this component, but the quick selection does. So I'm gonna paste that, hit the arrow keys to move it into place, Command D, and then we also have the magic wand tool. This would be for getting rid of um, the background because it selects based on color. So it can click everything. Once I click on that blue, it'll select everything in my layer that's that color blue, and then I can hit delete. Um, I'm gonna go now to the object select tool, finish my selections, Command D. I'm gonna select this. I'm going to try and position it into place, Command T to transform or edit, free transform. And then I'm just going to hover outside the corner to angle it, rotate, place it where it needs to go with those arrow keys. Enter, or you can hit the little check mark at the top here, and then Command D to deselect. Now I have one more thing. I could also, since there's nothing else on that layer, I could use like the rectangular marquee tool here. And then I can move that. Now if I hit Command T, I can resize it, make it smaller, make it fit in place. There we go. Almost done. I have two more components. Let's see if the object select tool will see this. You can also hit the select subject and then it's going to use AI to select uh, what it thinks the subject is, which in this case is the car. So that's select subject, um, Command D. I'm gonna try clicking on this little component right here. Found it pretty easily, use the move tool, move it into place, and then finally, last but not least, I'm going to move my tire. Notice it's all on one layer, Command Z, so I'm going to have to select it again. Move it into place, Command D. Now you merge all of your layers together. I didn't do a great job of making copies, but I'm going to hold shift, click, go to merge layers, and now you can drag it onto your other document. And there's my car surviving a flood. File, save as, save a copy as a JPEG. Thanks for watching.